To design a WordPress website with AI, all you need to do is to go to zipwp.com. Now, this service is absolutely free. Now, I have an account, so I'm going to go in and log in. So I'm going to click here on login, and this is what the dashboard looks like. So to create my website, all I have to do is to come over here to build site with AI. I'm going to click on that. And now I can give the name of my website. So the next step now is to decide or to specify what this website is for. So I'm going to click on this drop down. So you can choose here, uh, maybe restaurant. And then I'm going to go to continue. So now this is where you need to enter the information about the website. Now this information here is very, very important because this is what helps the AI generate the uh, text or the copy that's needed for the website. So I've gone in and entered my text. So what I've done here is to just give the AI something to work with. So now I can go ahead and click on improve using AI. So now you can see here we have a better description. So you can go in and further edit this if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave this as it is. So I'm going to cl uh, click on continue. So it's asking for my email address here. And I guess this is what will be used on the website, as you can see. So if you want, you can skip this step. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this. But we also have an option here to add our social media links. So I'm going to click on continue. So this step now is also very important because this is where you get to choose all your images. So you can also upload your own images if you wanted to. So if you want to go specific here and click on spicy foods, you can get some examples here of spicy foods. So let me go ahead and uh, see something I can choose. I'm going to go with this one here. So you can choose quite a few from uh, this list. So I'm going to continue on and... Uh, maybe choose this one here as well. Now, notice that we have some tabs here. I can click on burgers. So this now also gives me an opportunity to choose the burgers that I want to use on the site. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here. And maybe I could go ahead and choose this one here as well. And over here we have stews. So I'm going to go in and choose a few images of the stews. So I think I've chosen enough images. The next step now is to click on continue. Now, before I do that, I also like to remind you that you can also upload your own images. This works great as well. But if you are designing your uh, website with AI, just think about using these images as a base because you can always go in and replace them. All right, so let's go ahead and click on continue. So now it's time to uh, work on the structure of the website. So what's really cool here is the AI is generating different types of websites that we can use for the structure. Now, what I like about this AI is, I mean, if you look at the colors here already, this looks like a very nice professional website. You can see here when I put my mouse over this, it just scrolls through and um, you can pretty much have an idea of what the website looks like. So you just put your mouse over here and it just scrolls through. The colors here are perfect. The layout is perfect. I even like the pricing they have on there. This is fantastic. Now, if you're a design agency or a freelance designer, this is exactly what you need for getting your websites up and running. Now, over here, we also have this option. But to be, to be honest with you, I mean, these are all quite good. I mean, I also like this one here as well. It's got a bit of white and a very dark uh, hero area. Uh, this one here is also quite nice. I mean, all these can actually work as professional websites. And this is what I like about uh, this AI from ZipWP. So when I scroll further down here, you're going to notice that we also have further uh, designs here. And all these, like I said, I know I keep saying this, but this, this is beautiful. So when I keep scrolling here, it keeps loading up other options of uh, the websites. So we have 17. Now on the bottom here, you can see it's saying loading more designs. Now, I really like this option too, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So now we can play around with our fonts and also our color palettes. So you can choose maybe this one here, and you're going to notice that right away, this is going to change in real time. So you can see what it's going to look like. So we can go with this one, and now automatically, this now goes with the white option. So this is where you can choose between the dark mode and also the light mode. So if you just wanted the layout, but you want this mode, you can go ahead and choose this one. I really like that. So I'm going to stick to dark mode. Now, what I also like to do here is to work with my fonts. So if you want to change these fonts, you can just click over here and this will update all your fonts. So as you can see here, that has updated. Okay, so once you're happy with that, then what you want to do is to click over here on continue. Or if you're not happy with this, you can go back to other designs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. So here we also have other options. So we have an option for donations, sales funnels, 
uh, free live chat and video player and uh, automation and integration. So you may want to uh, have these. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this free chat over here. But if you wanted to add more here, you can add more. Okay, let's click on start building. So what's going to happen now is the AI is going to start building our website. And this is the most exciting part because after this stage, all you have to do is to go in and uh, pretty much just change the content or make a few tweaks here and there. And then pretty much you are good to go. So over here, as you can see, we have, um, it says, congratulations, you're almost done. I'm going to say start building the website. So I also like to remind you that as the AI is building our website, it is also adding in the copy of the website, which means the text that's going to be there is going to be relevant to your website. So this is going to save us a lot of time. And right now I can see here it's giving me um, the confetti, it's congratulations and all that. Pretty cool. So now it's time to customize the website. So to customize the website, all you need to do is to click over here. And here is our website. So what I normally do after I've uh, created my website with AI, what I'd like to do is to visit the site as well so I can see what it looks like. I'm going to open this in a new tab so that I can just switch between uh, the two tabs. All right, look at that. I mean, this is really, really amazing. Now, what you may not have uh, realized here is on the top here, we also have the menu, the about, the blog, and the contact. So if we go to the about page, these pages are also designed for us. So you can see here the copy as well is pretty, pretty good. So you can see it says discover the essence of Max Spice, a traditional London restaurant re-owned for its um, renowned for its organic spicy foods, burgers, and stews. You see what I mean? This is really, really amazing. And then here it also has the story. <laughs> Look at that. So all you need to do now is to go in and make some adjustments. And once you've done that, you're pretty good to go. So over here, you can also see that we can go in and add our proper chefs because this is pretty much placeholder images. All right. So now the question is, how do we go in and customize this website? Well, let me show you how. So what you want to do is to go to the pages. So you're going to come over here and click on all pages. Now, this is going to show you all the pages that were added by the AI onto our WordPress website. So here we have the About Us page, the contact and the home. So let's go to the home page. I'm going to click on edit. Now, while this is loading up, you may have not noticed this, but we have Spectra here. So this Spectra is a plugin that works as a page builder for WordPress. So it works with Gutenberg, which means it's going to be very, very easy for us to go in and customize our website. All right. So as you can see here, we have the Gutenberg block here. I'm just going to close out of here. But if you wanted to go in and customize this, it's very easy. I mean, if you've used Elementor or Divi, pretty much it's uh, almost the same. So if I click on this element right here, you're going to notice that it's going to be very easy for me to go in and make my customizations and make your changes. Like, for example, here I've moved, removed the word Mac and I can also come over here and make my changes in here. Now, notice that over here on the right. Now, this is why I mentioned that it works like a page builder. You have your general tab here where you can align everything. So at the moment, everything is centered, but now I've uh, aligned it left. And you also have the style here. So this is where you can click in here and make all your changes. So let's say you want to uh, make some changes to the padding here. You can go in and add your padding. If you wanted to work on, let's say, the buttons here, you can just click on the buttons. So every single aspect of this website can be changed, rearranged, designed, and so on. And this is using a free plugin called Spectra. And as I mentioned before, this is really, really powerful. So if you're a freelance designer and you want to go in and start designing websites for your clients, this is definitely a very, very good starting point. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you in the next one.